there are already worries that the increase in pre-election violence may discourage voters from coming out to vote on the election day, and which many see as a covert type of voter intimidation. If the situation does not change, it poses a threat to our democracy and national unity. As I previously stated, civil society organizations and religious bodies have crucial responsibilities in ensuring that positive and healthy benchmarks for the next general elections and future elections are met by Nigerians, particularly young Nigerians. We can do this by fighting attempts to use tribal, regional, and religious disparities for political gains. We need to condemn actions that instigate violence and put Nigerian fragile unity at risk. We all need to unite in opposition to all criminal elements for the sake of this critical reason. The barbaric and fraudulent methods that the politicians employ have no place in a civilized society. The brutality, murder, and kidnapping of helpless children, adults, women, and men cannot in any way be justified by any reason. Nigerians are incredibly proud of how large our nation is. Our wealth and power primarily come from our size. And we thank God for making us big. However, this comes with its diversity. We should be embraced, cherished, and even celebrated. Nigerian diversity is our gift. We are better off together. The more the merrier. God did not make any mistake in bringing us together. God did not make any mistake in, in, in uh, allowing us have multi-religious nature. We should celebrate it. It is God's, give, God's giving advantage and we must explore it to the fullest. Additionally, I, I urge politicians and their supporters to watch their language since it has the power to ignite, agitate, provoke, and inflame the polity. Nigerians should never forget that their faith is the same regardless of whether they are Muslims or Christians, from the north or from the south, and regardless of the party they support. I haven't seen any cement shop in Nigeria where Muslims buy cement cheaper than Christians. I haven't seen any petrol station in Nigeria where Christians buy fuel cheaper than Muslims. So to fan up religious sentiments during elections, to fan up ethnic uh, considerations during elections, is just a ploy the politicians have been using over the years to deal with us. I think this is the time to open our eyes wide and be united in making sure that the blessings God has deposited in Nigeria benefit all of us. 
we call on Einek to deliver on his promise of free, fair, and credible elections. If the process is free, fair, and credible, it will definitely reduce agitations. It will reduce confusion. It will reduce misunderstanding and definitely will not give way to violence. We have the right to demand responsibility and openness, but must do so through civilized means by approaching the courts afterwards to contest any grievances. And here, we also demand that the Nigerian courts should be upright in dispensing justice. I don't know who will make me or help me understand this slang that politicians always use. And the slang is this. Just declare this result. Let them go to court. Just declare me winner. Let them go to court. And when they go to court, you see that the court will award them the thing. In most cases, it then means that something fundamental is wrong with our judicial system. And we pray that the Nigerian courts and judges will stand up to defend Nigerians and to make sure that they stand on the side of justice and to dispense justice without fear or favor. Let us advise every Nigerian to refrain from using violence because their preferred candidate did not win. It is said that when two elephants fight, the grass suffers. Let us learn from countries who have drastically reduced election violence through transparent, credible electoral process. Regardless of political affiliations or leanings, we all all Nigerians to unite against violence and hate speech and strive towards peaceful, free, and fair elections. Nigeria will not disintegrate. Nigeria will remain, and it is our joint duty and responsibility to defend her and her, our fledging democracy. All political leaders, actors, and their representatives should exercise restraint in the interests of our beloved nation, Nigeria, and base their comp campaigns on progressive and objective ideas and issues that will promote national unity and cohesion. INEC alone cannot guarantee peaceful elections. Our hands, therefore, must be on deck to get things right this time around. Regardless of political affiliations or stance, we all, all Nigerians again to unite in the face of violence and hate speech and work towards free, fair, and peaceful elections. Nigeria is a common project, and we must not allow sentiments to make us remain in penury for the next four to eight years. Remember, that the money you get from selling your votes will only buy you poverty, pain, sorrow, and hardship. Nigerians, be wise. 
Thank you so very much for listening.